Listen, there is so much economic uncertainty out there nowadays with the election coming up. We've got interest rates going through the roof. There's the stock market that is near all time highs. And there's just a lot of noise out there when it comes to media and everything going on. But there is one thing that I'm clear about with my own personal financial journey and how I'm investing. And it's that I'm going cash heavy. And there's a number of different reasons why I'm doing that. And I'd like to break it down. So first things first, there is a CNBC study that exists that says 69% of Americans believe Believe that there's going to be a recession in the next year. Now, when it comes to me, I personally try to block out any noise, any talks about a recession, just because it's so hard to predict what's actually going to happen. And I will say that there's a couple of different things that are going on that makes me key into it a little bit. We've been brewing this student loan crisis where prices are insane. People are graduating with insane amounts of debt, and it's going to take like a lifetime just to pay that back. On top of that, we've got a housing crisis as well. There's not enough inventory out there and people are just selling their houses for an incredibly high price with rates extremely high. And people think, hey, as the rates drop, it's gonna become more affordable. But to be honest, what I think is gonna happen then is houses, if the rates drop, well, yeah, they might become more affordable, but to combat that, people are going to raise the price of houses and it's gonna be a similar situation to where we're at now. And also because of that, rent prices have gotten extremely out of control as well. And I know so many people who are living paycheck to paycheck, barely making it by because rent prices are through the roof. And we're talking about people that are, you know, in their thirties with four five, six roommates and trying to just make it by day to day. Now, going back to my point is that I try to set myself up in a position where if there is a recession, honestly, for somebody that's younger, it's a good ish situation, right? Like obviously it's bad that the economy isn't doing well as a whole, but if you're able to maintain a job and continue to invest in the stock market as prices go down, Hey, you might get a ton of money in as it's collapsing or as we're at this lower level. And then when it does inevitably bounce back, you've now capitalized on investing at much lower prices and you're able to maximize your return due to dollar cost averaging. So what I try to do is I always try to have a little bit of extra cash on hand that if I know Notice the stock market has been tanking, it's been dipping, well, I can start investing actually a little bit more and more money. So the second reason why I'm going cash heavy is because I think it offers a really, really solid level of flexibility. There's flexibility in, again, investing when the stock market goes down. There's flexibility in how you're leveraging your money. So right now I've got a mortgage on this property. This is the only debt that I do have. And if I wanted to pay that down even faster, I'd have that opportunity from the cash that's on hand. And then on top of that, if I see any other investment opportunity, whether it's in real estate or on the stock market, I have that functional cash just sitting on the side that I can dip into and take advantage of. So that's just something that I love being a little bit more risk averse as an investor. Now, the other thing that's really important to note when I say I'm going cash heavy, it doesn't mean that I'm freaking out. There's all this panic that I have. I'm selling everything and I'm putting it all into cash. What it means is that I'm slowing down just how much money I'm actually investing into the stock market. I haven't really sold anything. I'm still dollar cost averaging. I still set up some uh, periodic weekly investments to go into the stock market. It's not like I'm stopping altogether. I still want to take advantage of it. But what it means is that I'm just slowing down the amount of money that I'm putting into the stock market as a whole. And I'm going to try and leverage it in other ways that I think might be able to get me more of a return on my money. And I'm going to be talking about some of those ways here. So first things first, let me explain my thinking here. Now, before in this video, I mentioned that I think as housing rates drop, the prices of houses might actually go up. And so what I want to be able to do with some of this money that I'm setting aside is kind of save saving for a down payment on another rental property. And what that's going to allow me to do is lock in today's prices. But then if rates drop, I can refinance. And then by refinancing, I'm going to lower my monthly payment. And I can actually have today's prices and not the inflated prices that I think might come later down the line. Now, obviously, I'm not an expert in this area. That's just kind of how my mind works. And the way that I'd probably approach it is that I would fully rent out the duplex that I'm in now, I might end up buying a single family home. Because when I look at the uh, single family market around me, there's not much that goes up. There's also extremely low inventory when it comes to rentals. And it's a high demand rental market near where I'm at. Now, 
I would love to find another multifamily property out there that is going to cash flow like the property that I'm in. I just think it's going to be such a hard uh, approach at being able to find something like that. And there's just not that much that's hitting the market around me, but I am open to any and all opportunities that I'm going to be seeing out there. And I'm going to document that entire journey here on this channel as well. So the other thing is that the cash on the side, it's actually not just sitting there doing nothing. You see, it used to be that when you put your money into the bank, you just lost money ultimately because of inflation. The bank wasn't really giving you anything off of the money that you kept in the account. Nowadays, with high interest savings accounts, you can actually make a decent amount of money. You see using Wealthfront, the one that I use, it's a 5.5% APY. So still annually, I'm making about 5.5% off of the money that I'm just going to be leaving in an account like that, which is really, really solid. And I think that the coolest part about this is that as I save money and I've been shelling away all of this cash for a down payment, let's say that the stock market does end up tanking. We hit some sort of recession or whatever it is out there that happens and the stock market tanks. Well, now I have an opportunity to go back into the stock market pretty heavily because I have all of this set aside. And that's like a really cool opportunity that I see like because one, I don't feel like I'm slowing down my investments because ultimately I am working towards another investment property. So putting that cash away and sort of pausing for a little bit, it doesn't feel like I'm losing traction. And on top of that, again, market tanks, then I have all of this cash that I could be working with in terms of investing in that way. I just see a higher return from what I'm doing from real estate than I do in the stock market um, with where we're at right now. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with that in the future. So the other thing is, if you guys are longtime viewers of this channel, you know that I love showcasing and documenting everything in my financial journey, sort of in hopes that I can inspire other people out there to better themselves financially and in life in general, and uh, and you know make a significant impact on their future. Now, for me, I'm going to be continuing to share everything that's going on. I just think that personally, with how people have made money in the past and how people have become wealthy historically, it's kind of changed with the environment that we're in now. So it's going to be really interesting. I'm going to be building all of this stuff alongside of you guys showcasing everything on the journey. So make sure if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you do so now. Thanks for checking out this video. Leave a like if you made it this far and uh, I appreciate you. See ya.